If we take an everyday object like a printer here, you'll see here there is a rectangle. It's actually a bit of a parallelogram. It's been squashed a little bit, but that's okay. That still works exactly the same. We'll come to that eventually with perspective. So this is going to the back like that, and you will find us the internal one there, exactly like we did before. And on top of that, we've got a bit that's cut out there. There's this back plate there, and then there's going to be the piece of paper there. There's going to be the piece of paper coming forward, and this curve here, and the bit of plastic there holding it at the front. So how do we how do we draw that? Well, if we draw our square, so I'm making it slightly a parallelogram, uh, so it's kind of dropped down that way a little bit, and then we go back like that, so that. You can see the cube structure inside, not the cube, the box structure inside like that. Then we got that kind of cut out at the front there. And then there's a, a kind of a block coming down there with cannon on the front. And then we have our sheet of paper coming out that has been printed. A little bit of plastic showing there, a little bit of plastic showing there. And that's going something like that. This line is also coming backwards there. And then here, we follow these lines parallel to there, and we cut out a bit there so that the feed-in paper can be sticking out of the top. And then we'll have that kind of back plate that's holding it up at the back there like that. Now on here, to make it prettier, these are slightly curved, those lines. So we're going to go around like that and just soften out the curves a really bit, soften out the corners and give them a bit of a curvy shape like that. And we'll go to the back. But it's still essentially a box. <laughs> it's an expensive box. And then here we have that bit of plastic coming to hold a tray, I think is probably the word I'm looking for. And there's the paper feeding in on the top. Back plate. Like that. We could put an edge to the table so it feels like it's sitting on something. Uh, we could give it a little bit of shadow as well if you like. But we'll come to that later. So basically I've drawn a box and I've kind of draped this image of the printer over the box like, like the box is inside acting as a kind of skeleton or a structure to build the drawing on. Now with practice you'll be able to do this inside your head but it does take practice. A little bit of practice every day trains your brain to really see and understand. Now look around you. Look for things that are made of box shapes. Draw the box shape lightly in pencil, then convert the simple box into the object you want to draw. It sounds easy. If you really use your eyes and look at the object you are drawing, you will learn to drape that image over the simple box that is like a shell or a foundation for your drawing.